agree with everything you're saying, but let me just interject you bringing this up. I'm when, just put, making my point made. I, well, I'm in, uh, you're getting about 80% of the time. So all, all I'm saying is, and I'm not trying to be mean to you, but I actually... I don't, don't care, mate. But it's don't, no, it's, it, it, it's okay. You know, know hey, other. we're friends, aren't we? I like you. You like me. Yeah, just go ahead. We no, but I'm going to ask you do, you, do you think I'm an agent of the New World Order? No, uh, the, the point is, as I've said many times, you don't have to be... A, a knowing agent of 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 the of the cult. But a useful idiot. But if you, if you have if you have a certain mentality and and you you focus, for instance, on left right politics, and and, and that's the uh, promotion and the, and the numbers, then you don't have to be part of it. You just have to be. No, I agree, and I'm the guy that coined the term left right paradigm. What I'm trying to say here is. If I saw the left waking up and taking on the globalist, I would support that. It's not a leftist thing. It's a populist awakening. And I see the major beachhead worldwide of populism being called right wing. So that just identifies that. But, but I totally get what you're saying. But here, here's what I wanted to agree with you on. When he came out and said, we're going to put it in shopping malls and everybody's going to get brain chips five years ago. I said, look, they've already got this in government laboratories. Microsoft's doing it. IBM. He's popularizing it. I don't like this. Then he backed off that, which I thought was you know, a terrible idea. That you have brain chips to go to school. And, but if somebody's paralyzed or somebody's blind, then I think the technology is great. The problem is what Trojan horses will they put in? So I, just, I just wanted to add that. So I'm not an apologist for Elon Musk. I've just been looking at all the angles of it. Go ahead. Yeah, well, as I was saying, uh, his company Neuralink is uh, pushing the way, at least uh, popularizing the concept of a brain chip uh, connecting to artificial intelligence. Introduce the best book ever written. Get it today! Free with bone and pearls. Let's just say you're completely right. That's why we have you here, because we're not censoring and I respect you and love, we really like you a lot, David. Even though they're a little perturbed with me. And, and let's say he is a terrible guy. What is their plan with him? Because me, we're really winning big time if they're having to send him in to try to co op things. But just go ahead. Right. Well, yeah, I'll come to that in a second. I, 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 and, I, and, I, and I want to. But I, I just want to make this point. There's a Dutch actor. I'm not picking on, picking on her. It's just a good example. This is, this is something that, that is across the board. There's a Dutch um, activist called uh, Eva Blandingerbroek. And she did a, a video, I don't know, maybe a, just a bit over a year ago. And it was excellent. It was her speaking. And she said, um, Elon Musk is not your friend. He's pushing the world towards transhumanism. And she was right. Round of applause. But the same Eva today is, you know, like a lovesick teenager in relation to um, Elon Musk. Oh, yeah, Elon this, Elon that. Elon drops a, a, a tweet supporting one of hers. Oh, thank you, Elon. This is, this, is, this is not where we should be going. We shouldn't be eulogizing anyone. We should be dispassionately, calmly looking at everything. So um, let's just look at um, the AI agenda and, and how this fits in. You've got people, your, your Bill Gateses and your Klaus Schwabs, and what they're doing is going hard sell. Hard sell AI, connecting AI to the human brain and, and human genetics. That's what needs to happen. But of course... And by the way, Bill Gates came out three months ago and said, we've got to stop the hard sell. He actually said that. Yeah, well, uh, so uh, along comes um, Elon Musk. And Elon Musk um, does the soft sell. He is saying, oh, I'm worried about AI. Oh, go, it's very terrible. It could be the end of humanity. And then continues to, to, to push the AI agenda. But it's, oh, it's, it's, it's not too bad. It, it can't be as bad because Elon's doing it and he owns Twitter and he's letting people um, back on Twitter. And these are the things I'm saying that, you know, we've got to keep questioning these now things. Now, you what you're saying. They did, they did five years of total censorship, and it failed. So they said, go to Plan B and bring in a co-opter to create a false dialectic of Elon on one end of freedom and the hard sellers on the other. And you're saying, now we're missing the whole paradigm over there because they put us into a small window. What I'm saying is, look at the outcome. What is the outcome of the hard sell? What is the outcome of the soft sell? 
At the end of those roads is the same thing. Humans connected to artificial intelligence. And what you're trying to do is pull the people that are resisting the hard sell, you're trying to pull them in. Um, All right, stay the there. Cell. Stay there, David. You're, you're making your points, but you, 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 I agree with most of what you're saying, but you, you made statements and things, so I'm not bad for interjecting and bringing things up and telling you I'm saying the no, same I'm thing I, I do. I'm not good, good. I'm doing the same thing I do every day. You're on. I love, I love it, and, and that's what we're doing. So I'm not ma'am. I'm not part of ma'am. Let's just get that straight. All right. We got David Icon with us. We'll be right back. We'll talk about this more. It's fascinating. Introduce the best book ever written. Get it today. Free with bone and pearls. Awakening happening. And that goes to your point. Well, they're going to need to co-opt it. So how would they strike back? It'd be something like much. Yeah, but yeah, the thing is, though, Alex, uh, you, uh, you, you, you're kind of missing, missing my point. Um, I'm not saying there's not a global awakening. When I started out in 1990, uh, the, the, you, know, you, you couldn't fill a phone booth. David, I'm not stuff. missing what you said. I said there's a global awakening, and you're saying Musk yeah. is trying to co-opt it. That's what I just yeah. said. Okay, well, uh, well I'm, I'm, I misunderstood you then. But the thing is that um, I'm not saying there's not a global awakening. There is. But, if you know, if, if you are this cult... And you see this happening. You 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 want to take it into a cold. That's what I said. I said, are you saying I, that's what I, they I, see? And, I, and, mate, stop making it personal. And let's just have a discussion about about what's going on. So um, the question then is, um, what happened uh, when um, Elon Musk uh, purchased uh, Twitter? Okay, because that was the change. That was the change. That's when so many people in the alternative media, started eulogizing him instead of questioning him and, and, and exposing him, as they would have done if he hadn't bought Twitter. So he's bought Twitter, and um, he puts out the Twitter files, and he shows that uh, Twitter's um, uh, operation, who could post and what could be posted, was basically completely controlled by the deep state. And, and if you said to people, um, was Twitter controlled by the deep state, before Elon Musk, they'd say, yeah, all the Twitter files, they showed it. Yeah. Okay. So the deep state was in a position that was exactly what it wanted then. It was controlling the narrative, who could post and who couldn't, just like Facebook and, and, and YouTube and all these people. So then my question is, why did they sell it to Musk then, who is supposed to be this free speech absolutist? Why would they do that? And then you ask, okay, so what's happened as a result? And what's happened as a result is exactly what I'm talking about and challenging, which is people have stopped questioning all the ways that this man is serving the agenda of the cult and the World Economic Forum, etc. They've stopped doing it in the way they would have done had he not bought and, and, and run Twitter. The, the guy's still demanding a, um, a carbon tax. He, he wants a guaranteed income. All these are World Economic Forum policies. He's still doing it. He's been doing the, 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 it in terms of the carbon tax going way back. He spoke at these, the Paris Climate uh, okay. right. I've seen you repost okay. stuff from a few years ago, and, and I'm not defending you, but he's he's not been promoting it now, but he has a few years ago. You're right. He needs to answer for that. So so give us your 35,000-foot view here. What do you think is happening? 